Okay, so this is part two of a two-part series looking at knowledge management in Evernote. Now, if you haven't seen the first part, I would go and take a look. That's really about how we organize what you can see uh, just here, how we organize all these notes. But in this one, I want to talk specifically about how I export Kindle notes uh, because I love having the, uh, the cover of the book. I love having uh, the way that it uh, formats in a certain way. So I love that it says highlight and it tells you what page and nothing else. I find that really helpful. I'm going to show you two ways to export notes from Kindles. One's going to be really fast uh, and maybe not quite as good, but quick. One's going to be a bit more in depth and helpful maybe, but, but a lot slower. So you have to make a decision as to what you want to do there. So the first way, the quick way is to go to uh, clippings.io. You can log in. You might have to pay maybe for a month or more if you want to import, export your notes. Uh, so I have all my notes here, 305 books uh, on clippings.io and then if I click here and go to export to Evernote it will export all of my books which is very cool um, and it will this is what it will look like so every quote will have uh, the highlight either with the citation underneath it or you can choose it without the citation now there's a problem with that because now there's not a page number uh, so you have to pick your battle so this is really cool the fact that it, uh, it exported something like 14,000 highlights for me in about five minutes which is really great problem i had was that it's, so we say we're we're looking at power and i want to search on evernote for power and information about power uh the problem is if i did that if i had a book say redeeming power by uh, diane langberg every single time it would say redeeming power here so when i searched it would be an absolute nightmare because it would have the title on every single quote so I didn't want to do that. That's not helpful for me. If clipping, clippings.io changed that so that you could say just have the page number or the location number, that'd be fantastic. But for me, this doesn't this just doesn't work. It's not usable like that. It makes it too hard to search. So there's something else that I do, which is pretty slow, pretty laborious and painful. But uh, I find that in although it's annoying up front, in the long run, it's much more helpful. So this is what I do. I uh, export from my Kindle. So to do that, you go to go to notes, highlights or whatever, and then you just export and then it sends it via email. So let me show you what that would look like. Um, if I was to come into my emails and click type Kindle, you can see all some of the Kindle highlights that I've got here. Um, and so what I could do is then just, I could choose to download the Word document or choose to download the PDF. Now, this is personal preference. The Word document again is faster, but the PDF I think looks better. So I'm gonna go with that. Uh, I would then download each of those, which is painstaking if you've got 305 books, but the idea is that you do it all the time. So I try, tend to do it kind of once a month or so generally. Uh, so there's maybe maybe 10, 12 books or something like that, uh, rather than you know hundreds of books. So then once I've downloaded those books, I end up having them somewhere like this, uh, my Kindle books and my PDFs. So here they are. Oh, I've, this was a practice one, so I'll delete those. So then I need to make them Word documents because you could import them into uh, Evernote as PDFs, but then the problem is they're harder to copy and paste and all that stuff. So this is a very personal. This is just what works for me. It's like I say, it's slow, but it's 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 a worthwhile exercise. So now, in order to convert all of these to Word documents quickly, I open up Acrobat. And let me show you, we can use actions to batch change a whole bunch of them. So I did this when I was practicing just to make sure that it still worked. So if you go to tools and then you go to down here, you go to action wizard. I've got one here, convert to word, convert to word two, convert test, convert for word. I've been trying it a lot, but let's do it from scratch. So if you click, oh no, I won't. I'll just show you it actually. No, no, I'll do it from scratch. I'll do it from scratch. So you go for new action. We want to choose the folder that we want to convert. Well, for in our, our case, it's it's the PDF folder here in my Kindle Books bit. And then I want to save. So I'm going to go to save here. And in the settings, I'm going to say, oh, actually, I want to save. Oh, it's, it's gone big. Sometimes I have a 4K screen on my laptop. And so sometimes it does this annoying uh, massive screen thing. So anyway, I want to save it as a Word document. I'm going to just go for a normal Word document. Click OK and save. And we'll save this action as convert to Word 3000. Why not? So I'll close that so we can see it from scratch. Uh, close. And then we can go to Action Wizard, convert to Word 3000, start. And it should just save them all. Then we just sit and wait. Now, obviously, we're not going to sit and wait. 
we're going to open up the, the document and you can see that all these files are being converted to Word documents. Very helpful, really helpful. So then, imagine that that's all done. I open them up. I tend to open them up all in one go. Oh my word, what's going on? Ha! <laughs> oh my word, get it? No? Okay. So, then I open it up. I control A to select it all. Then I open up my Evernote. You know. Oh, what's going on here, bro? There we go. And then choose where I want it to go. So this was a secular book study. Control V, paste it all in, and then put the title in. Obviously when you've got lots of highlights, so this had, I don't know, however many, oh, it looks like a lot of highlights. This had 145 highlights, so that took a while. So then I just, I'll resize that. Let me just, this is done. There we go. Resize it, change the title, four disciplines. Now I've already got it saved, so I'm not gonna finish that. And there you go. I find that to be a little bit more slow, but better in the long run, because all it says is highlight and then the location. I don't need the book title in every single highlight. It makes the highlighting a lot better. You do get these yellow spots sometimes, which I don't love. Sometimes if I'm feeling really good, I will go through and delete it and format it. But the thing is, I'm not looking for uh, phenomenal uh, layout. What I want is the information quickly, easy to access and ready to go because I'm in a hurry often. I want to get this information fast. So that's how I organize my notes. That's how I export them from Kindle. I know that is a bit more of a painful process and I'm looking for a faster process. Like I say, if clippings.io did their thing a little bit faster, a little bit with a little bit more information on it, or rather actually a little bit less information on it, then let's just say customizable information, then I would be all over that. So you have to choose your poison. You might find that this is faster and you just need really, really fast. I find that I need uh, like fast accessibility as not just fast exportability, exportability, if that makes sense. So with that all said, that's this video done for today. So hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you did, let me know. If you found a faster way, leave a comment below. Um, that's how I organize my knowledge, knowledge management in Evernote. Hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world, whatever it is that you're doing, and I will speak to you very soon. Bye.